180! Right, hi lads and lasses, welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. This is video two in the Back to Basics um, video series. What we're going to address today is stance and addressing the board. We've uh, done in part one, as you've already watched, we've done in part one about how to get your board to the right height, the right distance away, setting your hockey up and all that sort of, all that sort of stuff. Right, so we've gone through that and now what we've got is we've got a set of darts in our hand and we're going to the hockey for the first time and we're, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to stand, how to actually first of all fundamentally get the darts going towards the board um, and how to deliver them, how to, how to do the grip and how to get yourself going. Right, so firstly what we're going to talk about is stance, so stance and addressing the board. Stance and addressing the board absolutely vital part of the game. This is what everything is built on. The whole of your game, the whole of your mental side of the game is all going to be set in stone with the, with the building blocks that I'm going to show you. It's going to be set in stone here. This is where you get the way that you deliver the darts to the board. A lot of people tell you you should throw the way that you're comfortable. I know a lot of people who throw very comfortably and they play off at an average of 25 to 30. I spent two years building this uh, method of throwing up from being um, an average dart player, well slightly below average dart player, and I wanted to get better. I had a real passion for the game and I was so frustrated that I could not get myself to improve. And that was because I was doing a lot of things wrong. I had far too much into my throw. I was um, putting shoulder into it, my body into it, all this, that and the other. And what I did was, went right back, I will do a video on this at one point explaining exactly how the Dynamite Dave stance and throw came about, but I can't go into that today, otherwise this video will be about three hours long. Right, so what we're going to talk about today is getting your fundamentals, getting everything right, and this is where it all starts, is like I say, stance and addressing the board. Right, now what we're going to start off with is the bottom half of your body, and getting this actual section of it correct because as I've just mentioned this is one of the big fundamental building blocks of how you're going to play darts hopefully for the rest of your life. So what we do is first time we come to address the board we stand square on and have a look at the board. Look down at the hockey which is here and what we do is we put our foot side on to the hockey and what you want is where your balance point is so basically relax you want your your feet shoulder width apart or just less, no leaning onto your front foot, so you don't want to put a lot of pressure onto your front foot. What you want to be doing is standing up straight with a very, very slight lean forward, so there's a minimal amount of pressure on your actual um, front foot. This will pay you dividends in the long run because you won't get um, knee problems, ankle problems, hip problems. Right, now you've got a foot. In the middle of the hockey, you want the centre of your foot in the centre of the hockey. So when you put your hand down here, down the centre of your body, and bring it up, your hand wants to be pointing directly in the middle, so cutting a section through the treble, the double three, the treble three, the bullseye, the treble twenty, and the double twenty, right up to the top. You want to be right in the middle. As I've said, and then as you rock forward a little bit, you'll feel your hip lock in like this, and that is what will keep you solid. The last thing you want is like you see a lot of people, they've got the toe to the hockey and they're standing forward and they've got all this movement in it and then they wonder why the thing is very inaccurate. This way it locks you right in. Right, so here we are, we're stood on the hockey and we're stood in the correct position. So we're pointing out towards the board, right up the centre. So now what you're looking for is to fetch your arm up level. So from your shoulder to your elbow is kept level. You'll find if you keep that level and you fetch your arm back, the dart will come at the side of your eye at the back of your swing. What you don't want to be doing is watching your dart or trying to aim down the dart and throwing your dart like that. You don't need that, it's instinctive. But you want to be throwing directly at, looking directly at where you want the dart to go. So again, we come up to the hockey, get ourselves into our position arm up nice and level and then tick tock position 
a nice tip top with your elbow and as your elbow comes over you can feel your fingers let go like that fingers should automatically open what you, the, the next thing you're looking for in your basic throw, get this right, right from the beginning is a proper follow through don't throw the dart and then, and then like go like this and let go of it no, follow right through with the dart and, and just let your hand, as you can see my arm there as I'm throwing forward my hand, my, my hand is naturally opening and if you get this sort of thing right, it's very very rare that anybody who uses this technique, I've not actually had anybody report back to me in the years that I've been doing it, formulating data or falling foul of dartitis after using this technique. It always seems to the people be the people who've got a load of flamboyancy in their hand when they're throwing. The brain is stopping them from letting go of the dart. This, as you bring your arm backwards and forwards, you automatically let go. It works fantastic and that's why I spent all these years developing it. Right, so that's the fundamentals of how to stand and point towards the board. Now what we're going to go on to is the grip. So basically, right, as I say, we're going to, what we're going to go on to now is the grip. Now, these darts, as you can see, these are Peter Wright Mamba 2's. Beautiful set of darts. I've had loads, loads and loads of sets of darts over the years. As um, people who've watched the, the channel and people who know me would tell you quite, quite readily. I've been through lots and lots of different sets of darts and I can throw anything. I can pick your darts up no matter what they are and I'll give you a good game with them. No problem. And that is all because of the fundamental getting that right and so it doesn't matter. To me now, I mean this will make a big difference to you when you first start playing and you will succumb to these sort of things is the different lengths of shafts like I did the tune-up kit. People will need that early on to get the darts to go where they want them to. Now what I do is I, ch I can change tiny little increments in my throw to get the darts to fly properly. So instead of the darts adapting themselves to me, I can adapt myself to the darts. But that's something that comes along in the future. Right, so you want to get yourself set up. Like I say, get the arm up. In the air, nice and square, fetching it back to release. Right, so the grip that you want to try and adopt is... I call it three points of contact. So basically, if I can get you an exploded view of it, you can see there we've got a nice straight thumb. Let's get rid of these other darts. We've got a nice straight thumb. We've got a finger over the top, which stops up and down vertical movement. And we've got the back of that finger and the finger on the point, which stops lateral movement. As you can see, when I've got hold of that dart, it is rock solid in my hand. If, you're, if you hold a dart like this, it's got loads of wibbly wobbly in it. Look at that. There's, there's virtually no control over it at all. And don't get me wrong, I do know that 90% of the dart players nowadays on the TV use this sort of grip. But, as with everything, in the 1970s they had Formula 1 cars that now wouldn't have stand a chance of competing. And our game is progressing at a fantastic rate. If you go and watch some of the, the um, darts that are even on now, I think they're on in, on in Las Vegas or somewhere now, the younger ones that are coming through are adopting a very similar style to what I'm thinking I'm teaching. So I think that this is, is something that I've had for years, but I think it's the future. It's, it's basically logically, logical, mechanical way of throwing. So there's less anomalies in it. The less anomalies, the less differences there in it. The more accurate you're going to be, the more consistent you're going to be. And like I say, these are the building blocks for the future. So. Now what we're going to do is get the darts and take our first couple of throws at the board. So your basics are, is what I tend to tell people to do when I'm coaching them, is put your hand across your chest. And this should keep you square on. So you want to be square onto the board, not open like this, square on to the board. And just pull the dart back as I've shown you. And your hand automatically opens as it comes over the top. Again, set yourself up as you come back round to the hockey, very, very, very important. Look down at the hockey and make sure you're getting your toe in the same place every time. You've got to be pinpoint accurate on this hockey every time. Once you become proficient, when you go to a different venue with a different hockey on it, you'll stand and look at the board and you'll know when you're in the right position. 
when you're in the right position you will memorize that for every time that you come to visit the board but when you're at home you've got the advantage of being able to put a mark on on your hockey get a sharpie get a sticker a little arrow sticker or something like that and put the sticker on exactly where you want it to match up with your shoe and then over your practices and everything you'll then become proficient and you'll be able to feel that you're in the right spot very very important Right lads and lasses, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, that was number two in the series of Back to Basics. Number three in the series is going to be about grouping and your first practice regimes, how to actually get um, up to a decent standard to actually be going out and playing in a competitive manner in the pub or with your mates. So thanks for watching Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave, don't forget down here, like, subscribe, um, small donation if you can afford it would be absolutely fantastic it's what keeps this channel going and it what keep, what keeps the uh, videos coming out so thanks very much for watching darts coaching with dynamite dave and don't forget lads and lasses as i always say you'll only ever get out of this game what you're prepared to put in and talk to the hockey game shot and match to dynamite dave